We are Becca and Matt. And we're full-time travelers working remotely. We are currently traveling the United States in our 13-foot Borrow camper. And our two cats, Grace and Peach. Right now, we are exploring the Northeast for the summer. And then heading back west before winter. Like and subscribe to follow along our journey. Cheers! Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Enjoying the show? They're a little quiet, aren't they? But it sure is pretty. Someone's exploring our campsite. Oh, shot for the camera. <laughs> so, this is our campground. We're in Asheville, North Carolina. And it's pretty empty. We have some neighbors, but otherwise, turns out a Tuesday is not a very popular time to go camping, which we're not complaining. So, we got our hook up there. Water's on the other side of the car. We got a fire pit, a camper, working, snacking, relaxing. And then our camper, under the shade. It's a beautiful day. I'm on a lunch break right now, so I'm having a little bit of a snack slash lunch, hence lunch break, and I'm on cat duty. So, exciting times. But look at all the good foods we went. We just went to Trader Joe's, so we actually have some healthy and tasty foods. Yogurt. First time trying this flavor, but it already smells good. Leftover apple, leftover bagel, some hummus, carrots, and of course, chips, crackers. Balance, right? Might need more after this, but we'll see. It's kind of an odd time. I work um, Western or <laughs> West Coast hours, so I don't start working till one. Oh, there's another cat over there. Anyways, I don't start working till one and usually work till eight. And so I have like a meal before work and then I have like a break around three or four, but I'm usually hungry for a meal then. And then I eat again after eight. So it's a little bit of a funny eating pattern for me right now. So I just kind of eat whenever I'm hungry but that usually looks like three or four times a day when I work. <laughs> Which actually isn't that different when I'm not working. So, never mind. Not sure what I'm rambling about. Cuties. Smile for me. Oh, there's even smaller ones over there. Oh, we just want one. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna go shower. Okay. Wave. Should we get it? Do you want to not walk further up? a hat you like it I just walked in a store threw down money and walked out with this it's like give me your best hat I never like hats this one looks I like it I like it it's okay on a lunch break walk look at who's spot. got a new hat you like it <laughs> there is a life valley in the city. We were talking about how these spots would have been really nice. I can Wait, take I don't know how what to do this that way. Because <laughs> they're right on the water. Let's see if I can focus on there. However, there's no shade, and we have a lot of shade. And it's actually a cool day today, but it would get pretty warm and toasty in the camper. So I think shade is still number one choice. Plus our sites were the cheapest because they're in the tent section. Rude. We don't have a tent. Anyways, but it's nice that they have that option. Actually, I shouldn't be giving them a hard time because then we get a cheaper site because we don't need sewer and a lot of amps for our camper. So why should we pay for that, right? So anyways, cheap site, prettiest, one of the prettiest, wouldn't you say? I would agree. Wildlife. Wow, this is, we could go in this water, couldn't we? I have the feeling is all right, so it's Wednesday. We got here on Monday with a fresh batch of ice. Now we need to change it. She's thrilled. So we had to pull everything out. Do you have your salt? She needs her ice cream salt. Okay. So the ice lasted about three days. One and a half days. The ice lasted about one and a half days. It's been about what, 70 degrees in the camper? Average? Yeah. Ah. I don't know how that is. Oh, we didn't break it. Also, I made this mistake last time. Let's double bag them before you fill it with ice. So it's not too big and then you can't fit it in another bag. It's a cute outfit you have. <laughs> and now 
let me get a cup and fill this up. I dumped the rest of the ice in this little ice container. I don't really know what I'm doing. Now, let's go back in the camper so you can watch a disaster unfold. All right. Now, I'm gonna try to keep things that I definitely wanna keep cold directly on the ice, maybe with one of these bags. The main problem is there's not that much space, but we'll make do. So goodness, <laughs> we get anything useful. Okay, there we go. Now the only thing that didn't get back in here is this stuff. So I'll have to reorganize some more stuff around. So on the very top is our like things that don't have to be very cold at all. So like bread, tortillas, naan, but we don't want them maybe sitting out and getting hot. And then here I just put a ice bag and it has like some carrots, veggies, shredded cheese. And then at the bottom is like the dairy, the stuff that I want the coldest. And yeah, we'll see if that works. But that was exhausting. And now I'm in a pissy mood because of him. All right, Beck has been working inside the camper for most of the day. So I've been working outside the camper. Give you all a little quick view of that. It's my work hammock. It's my workstation. I also have a portable battery out here that I'll plug the laptop up to if needed. Um, up next, what we got going on is the fire for this evening just picked up some more wood so we can actually probably cook on top of the fire so we're gonna whip out the baking steel I'll show you all that and uh, hopefully get some quesadillas going tonight all right so we're gonna cheat a little bit I got a starter log actually donation of the parents we got some dead wood that'll try to keep it going and then let's surround it with the regular wood All right, and as we wait on Rebecca so we can start the fire, let's go over some quick Asheville history. All right, so fun facts with Matt. Asheville is actually home to a total of eight national and state parks combined, not individually, combined. And as well as four rivers and over 200 waterfalls, I believe, 200. Double check me. Um, and also probably my favorite fun fact about Asheville, so if you guys don't know, the Blue Ridge Parkway is here. And the reason why it gets that name is because the trees actually release a chemical called isoprene that emits like a blue haze from the trees. So that's what you see off in the distance. It's kind of like the blue haze off the ridges in the distance. And that's why it's called the Blue Ridge Parkway. So there you go. That's your fun facts with Matt. We'll see you guys at dinner. All right, so Becca's almost done with work, so let's go ahead and get the fire started and get it warmed up so we can start cooking some quesadillas soon. Let's go. All right, as I get started, I'm gonna run to the bathroom because as you guys know, we carry two portable toilets with us, but we use zero of them. So I'm gonna run to the restroom right down the river. Y'all watch the fire. Thank you guys so much for watching that. So normally we put one of the cats on top of the baking steel and that's how we figure out how hot it is. 
All right, so these are our ingredients. We got a spinach herb tortilla. We got a bell pepper. We got some black beans. We got an avocado. We got some greens and some cheese. Let's make a quesadilla. We have some bell pepper and some avocado going into the quesadilla. All right, so this is what we got. This is what it looks like before I fold it and drop her on the baking steel. Forgot the greens on top. Look at this feast. We got salads, we got some burnt quesadillas. <laughs> It's not the best quesadilla, but we live and we learn, right? <laughs> so um, it cooks a little faster than we thought, but hey, room for improvement on next time with cooking with the burro. <laughs> also, we made it legit over the fire. That's pretty cool. Bigger fire than I thought. <laughs> Maybe we should cook it over a dying fire like that. Like get it on there before. I don't know. We don't know what we're doing. All right. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished up dinner. I uh, just rinsed the dishes a little bit here. About to put them in the sink and then we'll give them a deep clean tomorrow. And we're gonna go for a quick walk before the sun's completely gone and probably play some cards. If you have any good camper games that you guys play, let us know down in the comments below. Choose. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me, it seems like.